start. <clears throat> Scrotum Ball, Episode 1, Poker Night at Condom Tree. It was a cold evening. The cool breeze and light drizzling rain made it peaceful. Made it a peaceful evening. But one of most people would like to spend in time. But ah, god damn it. But one most people would like to spend inside. Four men wait around a table, expecting a fifth. Boogerman, Commander Video, Waluigi, and JM are, were waiting, playing poker. What's taking him so long? Probably fapping. Yup. Come on, this is a waste of my time. I could be playing Team Fortress 2. Gee, calm down there. A sweet oh, is it? came the door. It was Caleb. Hey everybody, sorry I'm late. I was in the middle of a really faggoty traffic jam, but hey, I made it to the condom tree, so that's all good. Weird, huh? Playing poker inside a hollowed out tree with a condom on the top. Tell me about it. Wah ha ha ha, time to play poker, bitches. Okay, okay, settle down there, I'm on my way. Look, woo, look at this, that smoking hot car dealer. Dang him, girl! <laughs> oh, I will be your car dealer tonight. My name is Karina. I hope you enjoy your game tonight. Shit, man, she's hot. Uh huh, yup. But she's way out of the league, bro. Shut up, fag. Enough, you two. Let's play the game. <laughs> Just as the cards and chips were being dealt, something strange happened. The lights went out, and suddenly, the hot card dealer let out a massive scream. The tension in the room rose. Somebody sabotaged their peaceful evening. <clears throat> Hello, gay faggots. It is I, Devlin Lee, was on a hunt for the girl with the juiciest cunt. Karina seems like a worthy candidate. Oh, what the hell is that, man? <laughs> We could easily destroy that, destroy you in a fight. Boogerman could just burp in your face and your head would fly off. That's where you're wrong. I learnt the secret art of fag jitsu. <laughs> and here's my first move. I like to call it GTFO. Bye bye, cunts. My boyfriend who does steroids could destroy all you faggots in a duel. I think somebody needs to be taught a lesson. Little fags like you should stay at home and fap over gay porn, <laughs> not interfere with the gentleman five sums known as the Texas Hold'em Poker! Big words, even bigger anus from all podcasts that, <laughs> that violently <laughs> erupts from there, I'm not too surprised. You're worthless, even I, the gayest fag you'll ever meet, will not destroy your asshole. That's it, I've had it with you. Boogerman violently charged at the gay cunt. Devlin swiftly dodged and then delivered a powerful blow to his balls. <laughs> Literally, like, dead fucking serious. He fucking sucked him off. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Damn. Oh, uh, what the actual just happened? Oh, what, what just happened? Never mind. <laughs> I messed up. Okay, go. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at it. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. Devlin Lee then bit oh then Devlin Lee then bit extremely hard on the Boogerman's tender balls. The Boogerman screamed out in agony. He will now never be able to reproduce his tentacles and ball sack fell to the floor and with the end with this hopes of having a family. Ah, not a big loss, eh? Your mutated genetics shouldn't spread, so I did the world a massive favor in the long run. Ah, I'm going to fucking destroy you. This is the time I make a tactical retreat in my boyfriend. Juan Jr. is taking care of you, of the one you call Karina. If you want to back, then good luck with that, because you're all going to burn in this tree. Gave orders to the mysterious figure in the doorway. Then fire started to spread, spreading. A person in red was holding a flamethrower, skipping around happily, destroying the vintage poker house commander video. Oh crap, vintage poker house. Commander Video ran for his life, leaving the rainbow trail behind him. A pyromaniac was intrigued and started chasing after him right out the building. Hello, Commander Video guys, we need to get out of here or we're to all toast. I can hardly walk. Leave me here and save yourselves. How generic. The save, your, the save yourselves BS. We all know you're not that selfless. We're going to help you out of here just so you can get revenge on that 
on that detestable cunt who bit off your ball sack. The three valiant, the three valiant friends tried their hardest to get Boogerman out safely. He used JM and Caleb's shoulders to help him walk around, while Waluigi was doing his hardest to try and stop the fire from spreading. Meanwhile, outside, Commander Video and Fire and the fire-loving fuckface were outside of the tree. Commander Video broke the flamethrower with one kick, and the pyro and the pyro broke a mailbox and made it his postal plumber. He attacked Commander Video with it, and it seemed to en and it and seemed to and seemed enraged at all the loss of his tool and destruction. Whoa, easy there! Can't we just talk this out like gentlemen? Oh God. Um, Hunter. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what's the pyro doing in here? You know this guy. You met my baseball bat, dude. This guy is the heart of the destroyer of, li of lives, man. We gotta get <laughs> him in Dick Diving uh, Dungeon where he must have escaped from. Alright, let's finish this guy's reign of terror. Scout got his bait, got his bat, and Commander Video got his out his fist and tried to knock him out. The pyro got his hands like he was about to do a Kamehameha, but instead he did a mini fire Hadouken, which burned the scout to a crisp and killed him. How could you be so heartless? Do you have any awareness of what's happening? How could you be so. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> the pyro shrugged his shoulders, then got a flare gun. What? A flare gun of his back and fired it. It was directed and it burned Commander Video's torso. He was in the floor in pain. Meanwhile, back at the condom tree, JM, Caleb, Wiggerman, and Waluigi were in a dire situation. Fire was surrounding the brave heart of Waluigi was trying to buy time for Boogerman and his two rescuers to get to safety. Unfortunately, things weren't going well for them either. The tree was collapsing around them and bits were falling above their heads. JM, you and Boogerman continue to the exit. I have to help my friend Waluigi. Alright then, good luck. What are you waiting for? We have to keep up the pace, JM. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Caleb dashed over where Waluigi was. Both of them were finding it hard to breathe, but Caleb had to ace up his sleeve. Had to, had to ace up. His yes, sleeve. I figured it out. I can, I can record. Wait, God interrupt. damn it! I was reading. <laughs> <laughs> He's sorry. <clears throat> finding it hard to breathe, but Caleb. Had an ace up his sleeve, literally. He was going to cheat in poker with it. <laughs> Waluigi panicked <laughs> as the fire came even closer. Then Waluigi reached out down his pocket and felt something. Felt something that could save both Waluigi and Caleb from their certain doom. He unzipped his pants and did a massive cum <laughs> shot. It cleared the path in the fierce fire, and he quickly sprinted over to the cum covered Caleb was standing. What the fuck? I'm covered in jizz. What the fuck? Dude, shut up. We have more important things to worry about, like this building falling down on our heads. Let's go! But what will the others think? They won't give a shit. Only if you're alive. Keep thinking that, man. Keep thinking that. Dude, move. We have no time to talk about stupid shit. <laughs> okay. Waluigi grabbed Caleb's hand and rushed over to the nearest exit. Then the unthinkable happened. A piece of rubble hit Waluigi in the back of the head. No, dude, are you okay? Oh god, this is all my fault for all those stupid comments I was making. There's blood, this doesn't look good. Hopefully he's just passed out. Caleb dragged Luigi's, Luigi's limp, lifeless body across the floor, hoping to get him out in safety of the outside. Can our hero safely maneuver him and Waluigi outside? How will Commander Video cope against the crazy pyromaniac? And will JM and Boogerman make it out in time? All these answers will be revealed more. Ah, fuck. <laughs> more will be revealed in the next Scrotum Ball. Okay, this time I can actually concentrate on reading.